This is not your standard breakfast show with Andy Curtis. It's not your standard breakfast show. We're live at Prasa at the Standard Hua Hin. Our guests today are Alan. Good morning, Alan. Good morning. Good morning, Andy. And, uh, good morning, Winnie. How are you? Hello. Good morning. Okay, so you both teach at the same university, which is. I want the Thai accent because it sounds so much nicer. Okay, Mahavitharai r a c h a m o n g k o n r a t n a k o s i n You should be a radio presenter, you know, with a voice like that. You oh, really thank should you be. Thank you so much. <laughs> so the two of you are—you you both work in the same department, is that correct? Yes, we do. Yes. Okay. So in a nutshell, what does that cover? So if someone comes to study at your university, what will they be learning about? Well, they study obviously all hospitality, food and beverage, uh, English for kitchen, like learning about utensils, how you cook, preparation. Um, also, I teach tourism, right? Uh, and also with Ajahn Winnie, I teach mice for meetings and exhibitions. Okay, so for the benefit of our listener who doesn't know about hospitality, what is mice? You, you're not talking about a computer mouse? Or no, no, no. I mean, mice is like for for meetings, right? Uh, exhibitions, uh, that sort of thing. Okay. Where obviously, Ajahn Winnie, she's the the course leader. Okay, so, so mice. mice. So mice is, to my, from my limited knowledge of the industry, is meetings, incentives, incentives, incentives travel, incentive and, travel, and what's the C? Con- Convention. Conventions, 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 and exhibitions, and exhibitions, and also plus the um, exhibit uh, event festival. Right. So I was actually chatting with Alan before you arrived, Winnie. We were talking about all the various facets of the the hospitality industry, and there are many. What do you teach, Winnie? Is it the same as Alan, or you teach something else? Um, not really. Alan, well, he is a native English speaker, so he take care of all the English subject. Right. But for me. Uh, my main focus is for the event management. Event management. Yes. Okay. So, in the hotel business, there are three or four major departments and revenue streams. For to use one of the the catchphrases from the hospitality industry, what are those main areas in hospitality? For me. Uh, primarily, is for uh, communication. Okay, okay. For, for English, for speaking. So communications, as in, would that be public relations and communications, or, or just how to communicate? Just how to communicate. So, right. for for example, um, say, well, for my students, as I'm the native speaker, is is to train them and get them confident in speaking language, even for listening right. and writing and reading, and it's to for them. For our students to give them the confidence and the ability right. by by doing and to practice uh, even in the classroom and also maybe from time to time is to get the students to come away from the classroom and maybe go outside and talk to uh, tourists and say hello where are you from that sort of thing so it's just to build their confidence and their right. ability. I guess that must be quite a major issue, isn't it? It is, yeah. but I mean the, the more I mean the more you put in, the more you're going to get out. Of course, of, of course. It. And for me, I mean I've been teaching now for nearly what five, nearly five years. I guess. Around about, about then, around about then, nearly five years, nearly six years. And uh, I mean I've enjoyed my time. Uh, I enjoy the students, and I mean we have. I mean English for me should be fun. And yes. And it's not one of these ones. You no, know, you just read it from a book. I'm not like that. I'm by by doing interactive uh, role play situations, right, scenarios, right. that sort of thing. Get the students into groups, pair work, get them to work together as a team, okay. and uh, they enjoy it so much. Well, our guests today are Winnie and Alan. They are uh, university lecturers. What do you call yourselves? Teachers, lecturers, what, what, professors? Well, I prefer to call myself as a coach. As a coach, yes, or edutainer. <laughs> An edutainer. That's yeah. amazing. What a great. Well, here we are. We're being edutained this morning already. <laughs> Winnie, what's your role at the university? You both teach at the uh, Ratana Kosin University. Is that how close was that? Was that any good? Yeah, no. yeah. Okay. Uh, you can call it in short R M U T R. Okay, so you're both edutainers at the R M T U R. Is that correct? R R M U T R. Yes. Oh, dear, oh dear, my brain. <laughs> Winnie, what's your role? Uh, what do you, you, you 
mentioned earlier on you teach, you specialise in mice, meetings, incentives. What's their reaction? Do they understand what mice is? Or because they're involved in, in hospitality, they're at a hospitality training area, they understand what that means? Well, at first, um, I need to clarify what this mice mean. Yes, of So, course. M-I-C-E. Everyone would think of the mice, little mouse. Yeah. But in fact, actually, we can call it event management for right. the student. Okay. So event management is also quite a, quite an important part of the hospitality industry. Obviously, hotels make money from events. Right. But correct me if I'm wrong, the events department is usually operated by food and beverage or is it marketing and sales? Because there's two different kind of there's two different areas where the business could be funneled in. Actually, it kind of mixed. Yep. In um, many hotels, the event management section is under the sell and marketing. Right. But they have to work with um, F and B also. But well, the banquet department, who'll yes. set up all the events right. and so on, they're under the the auspices of the food and beverage department. Yes. Well, I I will say that for the event management, well, they will divide in two, and for the management, um, for event people who uh, organize the banquet, they will work under the F&B right. and do the operations. But for sale and marketing, they are more like selling uh, the event to the customer. Hospitality industry is very much a collaborative effort, is it not? And Alan, do, do you find that um, you need to teach the, the students about collaboration as well? Yes, very much, because uh, it's the only way that they, they can, sort of, as I said, the command for themselves and to better themselves. Right. And, uh, and, for, and they know themselves that... Um, within the hospitality industry, depending on which avenue they want to go in, if they want to work in front office, reception, they know themselves that they have to learn uh, English and because they have to obviously able to understand what the customer is saying to them. I think one of the worst things if you go Another to a hotel, mm -hmm. well yeah, if you go to any hotel anywhere in the world and you go up to the front office and you, you kind of got a, like a blank expression exactly, or something. Right, exactly. Um, it, there's obviously an, a, a massive element of patience and having a thick skin when you're customer facing and certainly the department that you're looking after and you're teaching d how much of that do you need to put into your to your lessons as well and to and teach the students that they that you know they have to have a thick skin and it's not personal mm -hmm. well a lot mm -hmm. i i can say that we have to teach that a lot i think this is the first thing that we always uh give to the student teach student the attitudes of the mm. service my yes mm. well that's that's it it's the service industry and and right. you know you are as i say you're customer facing and you have to be very careful <laughs> it's not your standard breakfast show i'm andy hello good morning and our guests today are winnie and alan who are teachers or ajan Yes. yes. Ajahn at RMUTR University. <laughs> uh, Winnie, we were chatting just a moment ago about uh, the importance of um, learning languages and so on. Well, actually, the main focus for the um, service industry, hotel, tourism, and mice is English. But it will be advantage you if you can have uh, the skill for Chinese and Indian. Oh, okay. For for tourism, um, I mean, I teach uh, for conversation, uh, English <coughs> conversation with tourists, and uh, for example, maybe like if they want to become maybe like a, a tour guide, for example, maybe wanted to maybe open up maybe their own. Their own business as an agency, right? So for example, and it's just to give them like I give them like the, the key vocabulary for tourism, the tourism industry, and uh, for example, I know that uh, other uh, in our team um, we do like like trips maybe to like Renong because uh, I remember was it maybe two years ago uh, I went to uh, Renong uh, it was tourists and we did kayaking and wow. all the rest of it which was really fun and we were we were camping outside and I got mosquito bites I think I got one today as well right here. <laughs> yeah. you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had a really a really great time and the students enjoyed it and it's all about you know promoting tourism right and especially for Thailand uh, but also the people that are leading those tour groups they they have to have some kind of you know English 
English fundamentalists. They have, they have, yeah, they have to have a good command. Uh, obviously, uh, again, if they're going to be a tour guide, they have to speak sure. English because obviously they can't speak. The customers can't speak Thai. Thai language, so, so, so let me put the question then to Winnie. I mean, is is this kind of course aimed perhaps at uh, Thai people that can afford to go to a university, or or are there you know are there mm. uh, scholarships? Are there are, are there bursaries? Are there is there some kind of financial support? Actually, we also offer the scholarship for those students who want to study with us. We give like 5,000 Thai baht per one student if they uh, have a good record of their education. And also for those who want to do the internship in Germany, we also have the Six scholarships for right, them. Right, and and in Germany, presumably they'll need to speak a little bit of German as well. Is there <laughs> is there help with that, or that's just English that, just that's English. required? Just English. Actually, when we contact the German hotel, well, we also aware of uh, the the German's um, speaking skill. But they said that for right now, with just only English, it's okay for them. But okay. they have to uh, be able to speak. German a little bit, just a little bit. Richard is here, and he was invited by you, Winnie, I believe, uh, a couple of months ago to do a talk for some of your students, and it was to do with voiceover, which is the art of uh, a, a commentary or a narration over an advert or a video or something. What kind of course would need to have information about a voiceover? What, what was that all about? Um, actually, those students who uh, attend Lee Chart course is the student uh, from Chiang Rai. Oh, right. And they're from the English major. Okay. So, well, we got the we got the objective from the from their teachers to give them some more um, option for career. Okay. As someone who study English. So, well, they've been to um, hotel industry, tourism industry, and even industry. Is that sort of giving them some information about uh, perhaps media and communications as well, and various aspects of, of perhaps advertising, which is part of marketing and media and, and communications? Was, was that the point of that as well? Well, yes. But, well, I, I just want them to explore to another aspect of using English. Okay. That you are the only native English speaker, is that correct? I am, yes. Okay, so, so your focus is very much on English. But, yes. But what else, are you, what else are you actually teaching to the students in, in the hospitality course? Um, again, I mean, primarily f for them is, for, I mean, for my role in particular is, I want to just, like, focus for them on their main, uh, I mean, really focus on English right. speaking. For all the students, because when they come out of school, uh, from high school, um, it's very limited, and right. they can't really converse. So they need the skill. They okay. have. They have to have the skill, and they have to. For me, as a native speaker, I need to try and force that. Well, not like twist their arms. <laughs> you have to. You have to learn. You but, have to but learn. You mentioned earlier on, you try to make it fun and make do it role fun. play and yeah, stuff. make it fun. Okay. I mean, make it fun and interactive, and. Um, Give them different situations, give them scenarios, uh, and then have questions, and then <clears throat> then have to plan, right. and then put them in diff diff different groups. It's to engage them more. This is the word engage. Engagement, engage, yes, absolutely. Engage yeah. them more, uh, and and I mean the more that I put in, the more you're going to get out, and they find it fun. And I know that they want to learn, and they're there for the reason is to study because they know that they want to get a good job and they right. said that to me oh Ajahn Allen uh, yes I want to work in front office this is well you know if you want to work in the front office what skill do you need and they say to me English I says correct well there you go in a nutshell mm -hmm. but Winnie you were saying that there is a there's a cultural mm -hmm. element to it as well what, what's that about well because you know when uh, we teach students to work with foreigners from um, many countries yes so cross-cultural communications is very important to them like 
Alan. He from Scotland, so I I always want him to teach the student the Western culture. That's right. very important when they serve with the customer. And this is presumably because different nationalities have different likes or different ways to be served or different ways to ask questions. Is is that correct? It's correct. Yes. Okay. And. English is a very difficult language, so I'm told. I mean, I don't have a problem. I'm quite good at English, <laughs> but I'm told that English is a very difficult language to learn. So, do you get into all the intricacies of the English language, or you just keep it basic? I mean, for me, uh, it's just to keep it basic because I don't want to give them too many. They'll really don't understand too much. But as long as they get the fundamentals yeah. of the the language and how they can communicate. Uh, and how to communicate effectively. I mean, that's 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 the key. Right. I believe that the degree courses or, or the examinations to get into university from secondary school are a little bit different here than they are in in the in the, past. In the West and in um, and in the past yes. as well. Uh, is is that an issue? Uh, is, is it easy for your students to get into a university course that's teaching hospitality? Or what what are the what are the requirements? What should they be What should they be studying at secondary? Well, actually, we welcome all the students from the every fields of the education when they have in the high school. Um, we welcome the science students. We welcome the art students, and we just need to interview them. Right. Well, for for right now, and I believe for many university in Thailand, we don't have the writing um, examination for them. Oh, okay. Well. well uh, Unless they want to study medicine or engineering or something like that. Right. So for our uh, hospitality service industry, we focus more on the attitude of the student. Wow. Okay. Well, I think line. that's very important. Mm. Yes, the atti attitude. attitude yeah. 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 Very much so. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I think. I mean, this is the thing. If, if they have a positive attitude, that's that. That's what matters. Yeah. Very that's much so. Important. I think that's the same in the, everything in life, yeah. really, isn't it? Definitely. Oh. There is a little bit of. A question about whether or not the, the the degree which is earned in Thailand is is usable in other countries. Uh, has that become an issue for you or any of your students? Um, well, so far, the degree that we earn in Thailand is not much the problem when we apply for the education overseas. Okay. But because you yourself were educated overseas, is that right, correct? Right, right, right. I went to study in the USA, okay. Florida. <laughs> All right. Very nice. That explains the suntan then. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the the issue is is what the 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 actual receiving of the degree, or what what is the issue about using a Thai degree outside of Thailand? Um, actually, they're not focusing on the degree that much, but they're focusing on the language skill, right. which is English. The the proof of uh, you can speak English clearly, writing. Well, for example, you need to submit the TOEFL. Uh, Lee South or IELTS. So TOEFL is teaching of English as a foreign language? Uh, not really teaching, but is it, um, I really don't remember the the abbreviation of the TOEFLs, but it the proof that you can speak English, writing in English, right? and basically it's just like IELTS, but mm. using in the USA. Mm. I see. So it's, it's like the IELTS thing, yes, which is right. the, it's the international something or other right. Right, saying about it's, the standard of English. Some of that. And, I think, yeah. and I think when the students, uh, they have to get like a, a certain score. Right. And uh, and if you get quite a high score, then obviously they're proficient at, uh, and that's going to increase their chances of getting a good good uh, position. Right. Uh, if any of our listeners would like to get hold of you, or uh, going, oh yeah, I'd like to study some hospitality and tourism, or I'd like to help out with some English, how can they get hold of you both? Well, we uh, also have the Facebook, or you can contact us through Surf Radio. Oh, that's probably the best bet. Yeah, send us a message through Messenger. Uh, what's the Facebook uh, page, if anybody would like to have a look? Oh, uh, well, maybe you can search R-M-U-T-R, -R and uh, Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Industry. Alan, Winnie, thank you both very much indeed for coming down today. It's been a pleasure to talk to you, and, and if I was much younger, I'd take a hospitality course <laughs> immediately. Thank you both. Okay. <laughs> Take thank, care you. thank you very much. All thank you.